Welcome back. This is Classic Replay, and this is the Sega Saturn Top 10. Ah, the good old Sega Saturn. Does anybody really understand why it failed? What pushed it over the edge? Was it the Sony PlayStation or a distinct lack of marketing? It was released in the mid 1990s and it had a strong start in Japan. Some say it ultimately failed to compete with the Sony PlayStation and Nintendo 64 in the global market. I think it was because of the limited third party support, which ultimately made it less appealing to the consumer. And I'm sure there's many reasons that people will cite but all these factors contributed to the Sega Saturn's commercial failure. Number 10, Shining Force 3. Shining Force 3 received positive reviews from critics who praised its detailed story, strategic gameplay, and large cast of characters. However, because of the Sega Saturn's failure in the market, the game didn't sell very well, and it was only released in Japan and Europe, not in North America. Number 9. Virtua Fighter 2 Virtua Fighter 2 is considered to be a classic fighting game and is generally well regarded by both critics and fans. It was praised for its smooth animation, realistic fighting mechanics and diverse cast of characters. It was also one of the first fighting games to feature 3D graphics, which was a major selling point at the time of its release. Number 8. Duke Nukem the original game, Duke Nukem, was well received by critics and players for its fast-paced action, humorous storyline and iconic protagonist. For me, I personally enjoyed this game for the over-the-top violence I'm looking good. and over-the-top confidence. Ooh, and don't make me forget the adult themes and offensive content. Number 7, Dragon Force. In Dragon Force, players take on the role of one of eight rulers vying for the control of the land. You must build, manage and conquer territories. The game's graphics and art style are heavily influenced by anime and fantasy. It is considered a cult classic among fans of the strategy genre and is still highly regarded by many players today. Number 6. Fighters Megamix. Well that rhymed. Released by Sega's own in-house AM2. Overall, Fighters Megamix was a well-rounded fighting game that offered a unique and engaging experience. Its innovative gameplay, variety of characters, and stunning graphics made it a favorite among fans of the genre. Number five, Guardian Heroes. If you're after a well-rounded and innovative game that offered a unique and engaging experience, then Guardian Heroes is the game you've always longed for. With a fantastic combat system, branching story paths, and stunning art and animation, it doesn't get much better than this on the Sega Saturn. Number four, Nights Into Dreams. Nights Into Dreams is a 3D action game developed by Sonic Team and released for the Sega Saturn in 1996. You fly through dreamlike levels, collecting orbs and performing stunts. The game features impressive 3D graphics and bright and colorful art style. Nights also features a great story. Number three, Panzer Dragoon 2. You've got rail shooting mechanics with exploration and RPG elements. The graphics for the time were absolutely stunning. And on a CRT TV, they still pack a punch today. Many say it was ahead of its time in terms of gameplay mechanics, graphics and storytelling and continues to be remembered fondly by players today. Number two, Panzer Dragoon Saga. Epic battles with a memorable soundtrack aside, Panzer Dragoon Saga is considered a classic because it offered level design and emotional storytelling by pushing boundaries and the art of the possible. The game won several awards and is considered one of the best RPG games of all time. Ah, 10 games is not enough. Bonus! I just couldn't leave Radiant Silver Gun out. It's developed by Treasure and it was released for the Sega Saturn in 1998 and it's considered a classic for several reasons. For me personally, this game offered masses of replay value with hidden levels, different difficulty levels, and multiple endings. You copy that show? Listen for a sound before the explosion.
You'll be able to go from there. Yikes! This is the big one, Sega Rally Championship. Overall, Sega Rally is considered a good game because it offered a challenging and realistic gameplay experience. Stunning graphics, memorable soundtrack, good replayability and a multiplayer mode. It was a game that was well received by fans of the genre and is still remembered fondly by players today.